Right, let's have a look at this example. It is an example of a disorder across a symmetry element. That's a common case and it's typically quite difficult to deal with and I'd like to show you how you can do things fairly easily in Olux 2. So let's have a look what we've got here. We've got a good data set, high resolution, very strong data, good R end. The final affect is 8%, the biggest peak is 11, so there's clearly something missing and that's visible here. Now, the question is, what is that? So first of all, we need to realize, okay, most of these peaks, there's four of them, they're quite strong, and most of them here are quite weak, and we probably don't really want to look at them. So one thing to do is to refine, um, just two cycles will do, because we're really into uh, looking into peaks, uh, refine two, and we only want to see the top four peaks. So that's the first thing to do. The next thing I'd like to do, I don't really need to see all this printout that's going on down here, so I'll go lines one or two, so I can see that something is happening, but I don't really need to read what it is, and it just gets in the way. So what is it? The first thing you need to think of when you encounter something like this is that it might have to be grown. So Control G is what you want. I just press Control and G on the um, keyboard and you can see that this thing actually grows into something. Okay, now if you've seen this before you can probably recognize a molecule of ethyl acetate, oxygen, oxygen, carbon, ethyl group and here is the um, acetate, the methyl group of the acetate and that grows as well. There we go. Okay, so we don't want all of this. So in Olix 2, the way to model with this, uh, deal with this is to basically delete everything that you think you, you don't really want. So you delete this and you can see the molecule now and now we go shopping and we can get this molecule from a variety of sources. One of them is um, in the report plus extension module where you can go in, that's the wrong one, I meant fragment db and you can type ethyl acetate and there it is. And what you need to think of now is that this is modeled across a symmetry element so it will be part minus one, so you use the up and down arrows to make this minus one. And of course the parts need to be half occupied, 0 0.5 occupancy. Once you've got that, you click on fit and that puts that molecule in here and then you literally fit it. So I'll start with this oxygen. I first click on this oxygen here and then click on this here. Then I will go on with the tail. I click on this carbon here and then that carbon here. And then we just need to move that up, that carbon here and then that peak here. So this step is sometimes a little bit fiddly but um, once you get used to this, it's okay. So there is three chances. You match one and then the second, the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth. And once you're done, you click escape and you've got your molecule in place and that's it. So we hit control R, refine, and we see what happens. So it's showing the grown molecule now. There's two molecules on top of each other in this position. We go anise on it, so make it anisotropic and um, H add to finish it off. Control R. Didn't do H add here, I don't know what I did, so you probably want a few more lines. Lines 10 at this point and type H add. Um, okay, it tells us it's not applicable to the grown structure, so what we need to do is type fuse to go to the um, asymmetric unit itself and H add now and it should just work. So the R factor has now come down to just above 2%. It's still uh, something is moving. It's that hydrogen here. So control R uh, to repeat this. And um, a couple more times. Maybe want more cycles. We find 10 for peak still. And now this should have settled nicely. And it has so one more time. The peaks are now in sort of uh, irrelevant positions and they're very small and this structure is modeled. Now another source um, of this ethyl acetate would have been uh, going to disorder and go to Ilias fragment library. So this is a library of um, these fragments where so you can go control F and type ethyl acetate and if you follow that link you can find the whole molecule here. There's one with the hydrogens and one without. And you can select 
this control copy on the keyboard go over to olex 2 and then control v this is exactly the same as what happened before but now you have to remember once you paste this on top of the peaks you need to also apply the part minus one and uh, occupancy 0 0.5 once it's pasted so i'm now escaping this double click uh, get rid of this okay so this is how you model um, entities across the two elements um, there was another video about um, toluene across the symmetry element so this was ethyl acetate across it and i hope this will help you to get along thanks for using olex too